Kennan patented an optical system that is lightweight and well corrected for aberrations in large aperture super telephoto lenses from 200 millimeters to 800 millimeters. Details coming up, but first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. In Canon patent 705-9340, registered April the 14th, 2022, Canon moves the second lens group closer to the first lens group. The result is a lens significantly reduced in size and weight. The goal of the patent is to provide a lightweight optical system while correcting aberration to the point where aberration isn't apparent. Of the six lens embodiments mentioned in the patent, we've already got three of them. The 400mm f2.8, the 600mm f4, and the 800mm f5.6. Let's take a look at that 800mm f5.6. It weighs 6.9 pounds, a savings of 3 pounds over the old EF 800mm version at 9.9 .9 pounds. So a definite savings in that case of around 30%. So we're definitely seeing that these lenses are more lightweight and compact especially over the EF versions. But we should address the elephant in the room, and that's Nikkor's 800mm f6.3. It weighs at 5.25 pounds, so it's lighter than Canon's 800mm f5.6, although the Canon is a third of a stop wider. But the Nikkor 800mm f6.3, it's a third the price, $6,500 versus $17,000, and that's a huge difference in price. Not only does the Nikkor 800mm f6.3 beat the Canon in terms of weight, but it clobbers it in price, $6,500 versus $17,000. The economics are huge here. For somebody looking at getting in photography that wants to shoot wildlife or sports, anything where you need a super telephoto lens, well, this is how that conversation might go. You can purchase the Canon R1, the R3, the R5, insert your camera body, and then this $17,000 lens. Just looking at that $17,000 lens, now let's look at what we could do if we went to Nikon. We could buy the lens at $6,500, we could buy the Z9 at $5,500, and we could also buy two Angelbird CF Express cards, the two terabyte ones, for $1,000 each, and we'd still come in at several thousand dollars less than the Canon RF 800mm f5.6. Are the optics that much better on the Canon? Is that extra third of a stop in the aperture worth it? That's not for me to say, but it's a very, very difficult argument to justify spending $17,000 when one can spend $14,000 and get a whole camera system. And you could probably throw in a nice 50 millimeter prime as well into the Nikon side and still be priced under that $17,000. Just truly remarkable what Nikon has done. They've completely redesigned their 800 millimeter for the Z mount, and it shows lighter, lighter than Canon and significantly less in price. The question you have to ask yourself is, for that $13,000, is it worth it for that extra third of a stop? Anyhow, let's get back to the patent. The other three lens embodiments mentioned that we haven't seen yet are the 200 mm f2, the 300 mm f2.8, and the 500 mm f4. The 200 mm f2 has a focal length of 200 mm, no surprises there, an f number of 2.06, Half angle of view 6.17, image height 21.64, and overall lens length 196.01 millimeters and a back focus of 38.5. The 300 millimeter has a focal length of 292.53, an F number of 2.9, angle of view 4.23, image height 21.64, and an overall lens length of 273.92 with a back focus of 76.35. The last example that we haven't seen yet is the 500 millimeter F4. It has a focal length of 489.05, an F number of 4.12, angle of view 2.53, image height 21.64, and the overall lens length is 411.08 millimeters with a back focus of a nice round 100 millimeters. So what do you think of these three new potential lenses that we could be getting from Canon? based on the lens embodiments in this patent. 50% of them have already come to market. A 200 mm f2, a 300 mm f2.8, and a 500 mm f4. I love super telephotos. I especially love super telephoto primes. But I'm really curious to know what Nikon's working on as well. They really surprised me with that 800 mm f6.3. $6,500 versus Canon's $17,000. The lens is getting really great reviews. 
$6,500 versus $17,000. I can't get over that. I know the Canon is slightly wider at f5.6, but a third the price, a third the price. That really changes the whole economics of this if you're looking at a system. If you already own Canon, I get it. You got to look at that lens and think this will really help augment your system. But if you own Canon, you also got to look at the possibility of you could purchase the Z9 and the lens and still be considerably less than buying the Canon 800mm f5.6 alone. What you have to ask yourself is what are the optics like? It's great that Canon has been able to reduce the size and weight of these lenses, but I, I'm more interested in what Nikon has been able to do by re reducing the price of these lenses significantly. And that's really, really huge. It's really, really exciting. So that's why I love covering patents because you never know what goodies you might find in these. It's like looking for Easter eggs. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest news and rumors for camera gear, lenses, and other kit accessories, go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications so that way as soon as I publish a new video, you're going to be in the know. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.